we are up in the tower of the Woodwick Church and gonna go. Welcome to Epsom Square Park, and we are here at our magnificent church here again. But this time, for the past week, I've been the keeper of the key. So to show that the church is open, we open these front gates inwards. And this key is 300 years old. So this could, so this is probably a 300 year old door. Magnificent stained glass window, and in a tomb of Frederick Tilney. And because the school I go to is roughly about the oldest primary school in Hampshire, 1712. There is a single glass window about it. He was a lovely chap, sad to miss him. Apparently it's like the oldest primary school in Hampshire or something. Is it? it. Look after a trust. And they got the whole the whole of the front of the school plot is was assigned over for this county to use. Um, but the back area they bought another bit when they extended. See all the hatch boxes. And then back line there's a tower. There's the font. We write down on here, you know, how many people came to the service and what the service was. Yeah. And then they ha it has to be written in special ink. They can't just write it in any ink. It has to be in indel special, indelible. This is my crib because if, if through different times of the year, we have different cloths on the front of the yeah. church. So we're green at the moment, which is our most glorious green colour. Yeah. But isn't we've got lots of different colours. Advent. Yeah, isn't that I think you're right. And well, we can look on here, look. So we're in October. So this is all green. There's a red on the 18th of October. We've gone past that. We're back on green again. Green or white. Red, 28th of October. It's an, if, but we're not open on the 28th. So we just open on. So there we are. Sunday the 31st of October. Red or green. Advent. Brilliant. That's 1875. 1875. It's a Bible. Oh, okay. So that's like the biggest book I've ever seen. Psalms and the hymns, which are either yeah. side of the arch. Yeah. So we do those when we're prepping for a ceremony. But so this is John Keep and Kenneth. So they, they were obviously Kenneth. wardens the at the time yeah. back then. You know, um, you won't know him, but there's a chap called Dillian Swan. He used to do a lot of visiting in the... Up the tower, into the building in Is this a first for Evers Historical World? Yep. So is that, that is, um, so now the bells, and these are all the bell castle. ringers over the years, castle. yeah. Because we went to running these. Um, and because of Covid, we've had to, <coughs> we open the door and there's a gap here, to let some air up. So, so there's 
Oh, is that the church? Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Somebody's made that. It's got a lot of spiders up here, Ev. Is that the bell ringers doing that, or is that Steve doing it for when the bell ringers get back? Right, so now you need to be careful, Ev, yeah? Yeah. Because it's a long call all the way to the bottom from here. In fact, in fact, let's make it safer. There you go, you'll only fall that far now. Fall onto the carpet, which is not going to hurt your arm as much. So I'm guessing these are all the, the bell ringers. Obviously, it means a lot to bell ringers. Different music, yeah. Oh, is that like showing like a little bell for a spark? Yeah, which you're going to see now when you go past. Yeah. So, that rope there, Ev, can you pull that down? See, just on the side there, that's it. Put that on the hook where the, where the loop is. This loop? Yeah. On this loop? Yeah. Is it on? Yep. Brilliant. speakers now that's our sound system and these are just these are the new ropes going going up we're going to go up there and just look at the size of those beams the big cross beams yeah so i guess they're a later addition aren't they the big metal cross beams metal it cross, would have just yeah, been saying, look at the, the, the wooden timbers are quite uh, they are massive aren't they and then above that <coughs> is, is what the bells are all on so when we go up the next layer, you'll you'll be in the belfry. Then we'll keep an half an hour at a time because yeah. they'll they'll ring at nine. One of them. And it'll be loud. It might be now. <laughs> so how old are these timbers then, Ev? Well, if this tower was built in well, completed in like seventeen thirty, about well when they were used would probably be. Nearly 300 years. Oh, yeah, 300 years. Nearly yeah. 300 years. Yeah. But if the trees are already old by then, yeah. then that could be like 500 years. Yeah. Yeah, so they're already a few hundred years old. If there was something, you could <clears> see <throat> the holes in the wall there. Yeah, I, I saw when I was. Across here as well. I saw when I was coming up, there's like that sort of hole in the wall. And there's something here, there's something here. So whether that was to do with. Yeah, there would have been. A level across here. Different floor levels or whatever, or... So the same way when you go visiting castles, isn't it? You can always see where old floor levels used to be. And... Yeah. And with this door here, you wonder if there was something that came across yeah. just above the door level. You know, which would, which would just about... Mm-hmm. Right. Let's go up into the bells. So, tell me, where are you? And what was in the, these bits? The rope, because below us is where the bell rings go, and above us is where the bells are. Cool. You should be able to see the mechanisms in a minute. Are they numbered? So, these are the timbers. Tim, and look at these, like the marks as to X11, X11 goes there. So if you're building it downstairs, then X1111 goes to X111. It's like massive Lego, isn't yeah. it? They've already planned it, made it downstairs. <clears throat> I 
I would have thought the older ones would be these ones at the back. They're quite big, aren't they? And then the next one up is the roof. So yeah. You're going to have to step up here, carefully along the timbers. These are all moving parts, so... Make sure not to touch those. Well, yeah, you know, just if you can't lean on them. You've got the post here. Yeah. Okay, in fact, shut that door as well, Ed. Trap door. Can you reach it? you want me to do it? Uh, just help if you this just because I don't want you. Do you have to come up here at a certain certain amount of times throughout the month or the year just to check on things or Yeah, we go up to the roof and I've got to go up and put a new um, rope on the like the flagpole. The flagpole because it all wore out and we've got And you see there's just a slight fall on the roof there. So the, so above that those those timbers is a um, like a, the lead roof that we're gonna be walking on. Yeah, where it's slightly raised in the middle, isn't it? In the it? middle, yeah. 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 I wonder if any of these bricks have um, got marks on, on them. Yeah. You know, Thumbprints with it, makers might, yeah, where they've been held and made. You can see across the back. You don't see it a lot like that. So you can see how this, we do have these little gullies and everything where they've added bits onto the church. It's impressive of all these old buildings, isn't it? Yeah, the fact there's no JCBs, the scaffold was made yeah, of yeah, wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all done by sort of plumb bobs and stuff like that, wasn't it? Yeah. And they last for so long. We got modern houses that have been put up. And now. they crumble. They'll just fall to pieces. <laughs> they crumble, the don't they? Yeah, see I've got this we lost the original string on here, so I've got to put a bit of um, another bit of rope on that. And the architect, we, every five years we have an architect come and just look over the church to see, um, you know, what condition it's in and yeah. what work needs to do for the next five years. We use a local man in the village to do a lot of the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and so he said, I'm, you know, I'm not sure that's going to that's gonna fly. Copper but you can see the difference, well, can't you? Look at the copper. south side, it's all, it looks quite clear. Yeah. Because that's the north where the sun side, is. Look at them, it's got loads of moss yeah, on it's it. it's a shady bit, isn't it? Another thing it is. You can see all the way down to Hook Road. Yeah. And you can see the village hall from here. Because this is like pretty much the highest point in Rotherwick that you can get up to. I would reckon. 
Yeah, 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 That was cool. You can actually hear it go it's like. Nine o'clock to work. We had um, when I, I had that done by um, Paul Butler. Paul Butler and sort of yeah, it all out, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, and got them. We had to get. It's getting showing what to do with all the muck that comes out. Because you've got to lose, you've got to lose all of that somewhere. And all those reasons. Yeah, because you put it anywhere. It's just going to be running. The sun is just trying to do it. Well, a cool view of Rob Wick down there. You can see the far ends where it goes up to Hook Road and down to Hook. And you turn around. You can see all the way up here with the old rectory. And it's uh, a other end of Rob Wick. Church is such a good view because it's strategically slap bang in the middle of Rodwick. Of minutes we could wait if you want to get deafened we could wait up here until that bell rings if it goes at half past what do you reckon So it's going to take, it's just going to knock um, on the side of it. it looks, you see the, the clacker, the, what, they, what they call it, the hammer bit, just there, that black thing, that's what's going to ding on the bell. If it doesn't, it? it's worth waiting, isn't it, just to see. No, well that's it. No, that's it. All it is is there's an electric clock downstairs that's and went even on the hour, and it just hits that no. hammer, and that will go dung, 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 and it'll hit hit this bell. Well, so that's the mean, only one. What I mean is, say, like, say for example, if it's nine o'clock, don't the bells like dung nine times? Yeah. So it's electric. So how does it like do it on the half hour if it's Oh, I see. Not the full hour. Well, I think they do the first one, and then it's telling you how many. So if it was like two o'clock, it would go dung, dung. So there'd be two, two bells. So the first one would be on the act, you know, then, on the hour. But then because it's half hour. Um... So this one, I think, on the half hour, I think it would just it would just do one. I don't know if these ring on the half hour because I don't live at this time of this end of the village. No one is paying attention. I know, obviously, on the hour, because <clears throat> it's one of those sometimes you walk out with the dog. Yeah. And at night, and all of a he's like, it, it gives him, like, oh, he's like, oh, jump sideways, because all of a sudden the bells yeah, all go yeah. off. It's like 10 o'clock at night, and he's like 10, and he's like getting all grumpy, because you're like, oh, who's, who's doing that? <laughs> and these are a bit quieter in the village, because you can see they're all baffled up. 
Is it that they should all be open like this one? Really cool start to the morning, isn't it, Ev? You see, come down, Dan. Can you do that? Yeah. Cool. You see, like there, the layer of tiles look in yeah. between the bricks. So it's like an extra damp course layer, isn't it? So the, there's a really old bell, and then the, the bells have got, you know, they, they put some added to the bells. I so, mean, uh, is that there? Is that this one? this is just gone on to keep the bell rose. Yeah. So no, ignore this, no, but behind there. Where that's slightly cut out, do you think, oh, on that right. wood? Yeah. These are really old bricks, which we know because the age of the tower, but because they're skinny and they're longer. Yeah. Than the average house, but then, then before they become standardised, if you like. But we've got some bricks that um have got like you know four fingers on it. You can see four fingerprints Actually, on it. People, yeah, yeah, somebody had made it, but it was still damp. They moved it, and we've got one that was obviously you can see where it was made and laid down, and it's yeah. got like an ear of corn printed yeah. into oh, it. So wow. it's obviously made lovely. You know, harvest time. Yeah, yeah, that, but yeah, it wasn't yeah. made like in January. Yeah, yeah that yeah, sort yeah. of stuff. Well, we had well, to... I was saying that, I suppose it could have been just old old straw kicking around, but yo, know, it's definitely a piece of um, ear of corn it was laid on. Fusion and the yeah, different colour and stuff, yeah. Stuff in there. But all local, and of course, that you cycle down the canal. Well, it would have been that just... old brickworks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're even at the top, was it? There was at the top top yeah. there by Dan Monks, is it a brick place or oh, whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the lakes and that, and where there's yeah. the oh, yes. old bridges. Yeah. yeah. And the. And they used to be oh, yeah, like know, an yeah, old yeah. building with chimneys. There is an old building, yeah. Because they did. Well, do you remember when we went to that museum up in sort of Birmingham Way, and they get the squatters' cottage there? It's one of those. If you could build a, a chimney, yeah, you know, like a fireplace, a chimney, and get it going within twenty four hours, you could say the landowner had to say, "All right, you can stay." Really? Do you know what I mean? It's something yeah, along that yeah, line. Yeah, but it yeah, says yeah. a squatters' cottage. It wasn't much bigger than this. Yeah. But they'd gone in there and they'd built like a fireplace and a chimney yeah. out of. Stone, yeah, it was made out of stone, and then everything else they added to it's like, all right, well, you can stay then, but you'd have to work my land, so you know yeah. what I mean? It was that sort of thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was called Fliss Hill Victorian, right? Mm. This is this is the one that worked the... me most because it's dead straight, so um, do do? again, do you, do you want me to go first and I catch him first, yeah, and then, yeah. And then if he's uh, and I wonder if I should go and catch you down, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've all got climbing experience. But Ev and the boys anyway, yeah. so. I did think about bringing the climbing harness. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, this is put the on your... Go there, mate, I'll catch you. Promise. It... Hands ready. So, so look, these are all obviously you pull in order. These are their like, you know, like your your notes, your yeah. music that you follow for your guitar lessons. These are obviously all what they do. They mean something to the bell ringers. Is it how much they pull? How much they don't pull? And it's like a mini. You'll do it. <laughs> Just little balls. That's it. That's my heart. That's how it works. Yeah. It's cool. What does that say up there?
How cool was that? Was that good? Yes, that was awesome. Where have you just been? Up the tower. So, where we've been in the church is inside. We looked at the strong box over there and the silver over there. Then we went into the tower. And then we went up into the bell ringing room. And up into the room between the bell ringing and the bells. And that room with the sort of windows is where the bells are and above that is the roof. So that is awesome.